Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. I am the host, the noob himself. And this week, we're unboxing the Guardian of Souls. I know I've promised this in the last two videos, but let's get into it before anything else changes. So let's grab a brew, crack on. Before we start, I want to say thank you to everyone that's looked at the video. It means a lot. It's not just me rambling at a camera for my own benefit. It's nice to know that there's other people listening. So let's grab our, our knives. This is a GW one. There's uh, other makes available. And let's open it up. Before I continue, I forgot to mention, this was a GW store anniversary model. So without further ado, let's have a look. The box itself, quick guides on the back. You can see I'm pointing out the chill blade and the mortality glass. And also the fact that it is a guardian of souls. Let's have a quick look at the painting guides. Without any delay. That's probably the best I can do. Nice and simple. Be gone box. So we, now we've got the inside of the box. We got the instruction guide, we put that to one side, and the showpiece itself. Let's have a look. Single sprue, single base, not slotted for a change. Be gone, plastic. Be gone, base. Right, let's have a look at the model itself. You can see the mortality glass here, looking fantastic. I believe that is the mortality glass and that is the nightmare lantern. We have the chill blade and the rest of the model, just look at the detail on that stone. That is amazing. I know I say this every video, but this is fantastic. Just look how much detail they can get these days. That's amazing. Oh, and I'm impressed with the fact that that's two lanterns. As I said previously, this is the Guardian of Souls. I believe this is one of two models for the Guardians of Souls. First one being in the Soul Wars box. Let's have a look at the inside. Basic, straightforward. Most technical part. Choosing which weapons you want. Because this also comes with the mole and chill bit. We've also got more painting guides. And we've got the rules themselves. If I'm going on the other model that I unboxed, which is the Blade Gas Revenant, as we see here, already we get in better value because you've got a choice of weapons, you've also got a character that's going to benefit other models around it and it's not just we've given it a useless weapon that's not even going to give it an extra attack but i digress let's carry on with the unboxing of this model as you can see we got the pitch battle profile on the back in the many cultural languages let me go find english because i am uncultured so i can go over the stuff as you can see from my badly cropped image I have taken a snippet of the rules. We're looking at the melee weapons, the chill blade and the mole of judgment. Both have a range of one inch. The chill blade has attacks of three, while the mole of judgment has two. Both hit and two wound on a three plus. The chill blade has minus one, and the mole has no rend. 
and when we look at the damage, Chillblade has one damage, the Molar Judgment has two. It's all down to personal preference, but to me, I would believe that Chillblade would be better, mostly because the amount of attacks and the minus one to rend. That seems to balance out the fact that it's only doing one damage. I could be wrong. I haven't put this guy on the table yet. As you could tell, he was still in the box. So I'm relying on you, the viewer, to tell me. What do you think? Am I wrong? Am I talking gibberish? Like most Welsh people do? Or do you agree? Let me know below. Now that we got his melee weapon out of the way, let's look at his abilities. As we all know, knight owned army, main one, ethereal. They don't leave home without it. For those who don't know, that are new to the army, or don't really pay much attention outside of their own army, the ethereal rule is that it ignore modifiers, positive and negative, when making save rolls for attacks against that target model so he has got a flat four plus save so okay he's got five wounds he's a bravery 10 when he goes in he's gonna get stuck in but he's gonna bring his boys up with him on uh on the trip because of the more the mortality glass which when a u enemy unit within nine inches of the model charges roll a d6 instead of 2d6 to determine the distance that they can move so, you want to attack this guy, get him out of the way? You've got to get in right close, because he doesn't want you coming close. But on top of that, our boy is in a one-trick pony. It also comes packing magic. The spells that this guy knows are temporary translocation. It's a casting value of six. And if successful, pick a friendly knight owned unit within 24 inches of the caster. They can make a normal move up to six inches with our unit. If that unit retre uh, retreats as part of the move, it can still charge later in the same turn. Now that is a cracking ability. It's a cracking... Well, I don't know what to say. If you were falling back, if you've been unfortunate that you've had to drop back with this spell, you could turn around and give him a clobber. It's... He is a good buff to units around him. One thing I have found with the Night Hunt army, you've got to synergize that army. And this guy is a linchpin. He is phenomenal. You back him up with a couple of units, there's no stopping him. And that's it. Video done. Have I put so much importance on this model that you want to go out and get him yourself? Or... Am I totally wrong and missing the complete point of this model? Comment down below and you tell me your thoughts. Thank you very much. Right then, lovely people. That's another video over. Just before I go, I want to say a big thank you. And I'm really sorry, but I've opened a PayPal account. This is so I can expand the channel, so I can get you more content, perhaps get better equipment, so I can record back reps in the future. Who knows? But it's up to you. Every penny you received is going to go straight back into this channel. So it's more content, better equipment, more interaction. You name it, we'll do it. Thank you. And you will hear from me again. Also above is the email address for the channel. And in the description below, there's going to be a link to the Instagram account. I thank you all again.